Alright, so the first step, copy the password, and then open up Otis. Go ahead and close out of the warnings here. And then you'll see this screen. And to start it, go ahead and hit starting diagnosis. Now usually you'll just have to enter your password here. Uh, but username is right there as well. You want to make sure your vehicle details are right. Uh, sometimes you'll have to choose between what model it is. Let's say it's a GTI or a Golf. You'll have to choose between those two. Uh, another thing is the Cabriolet down here just means convertible. You'll see saloon means sedan. And then a uh, wagon would be a station wagon or an Avant. Just hit apply. Once you confirm the vehicle details. You'll see at the bottom here it's reading the control modules. If you ever want to know what it's doing, just look down here. Now if you ever see this where it's not communicating, I usually like to hit repeat twice. If it sees it awesome, if it doesn't see it after the second time you hit repeat, just hit continue. It will move past that. So it wasn't able to recognize what radio is equipped in this vehicle. Now when you see this it wasn't able to identify which version of equipment is installed. You can move them over like this and press repeat reading. Most of the time though, whenever that pops up, it's not able to identify it. Even repeating it is not going to uh, make it identify which equipment version is installed. So normally I just hit close. Now this is the first screen you are taken to. This is your test plan. So let's say you have a fault code in here that you want more information about. Uh, maybe you're not sure the steps to take to diagnose it. You can drop down this little arrow and you'll see the actual fault code right here. Now if you want more information or you need help diagnosing it, just click on the top title of that fault and hit perform test. This is going to take us through step by steps on how to resolve this fault, narrow down where the malfunction is. You also see these information tabs right here. You can see the component location. If you click on the red square, it will take you into a close up view of it. You can get the wiring diagram right here and the connector view right here as well. And um, that's showing the relay. So you'll just go with the tool here and uh, when it asks you yes or no just hit whatever you see. This is not the best test plan to go into uh, exactly, it's just checking the relay and the output of it. Um, but that's just the basis of the test plan. Now you can go to control module to see what all is equipped. Anything in red has fault codes. Black means that they were identified but they don't have fault codes and then the gray were either not communicating or they're not installed on this vehicle. Now you can hit DTC memory list right here. That will take you to a list of all your fault codes. Just hit the arrows. You can drop down freeze frame data, things like that. And Let's say you need to clear fault codes what you're going to do is click up on the upper X here. Do you want to end Otis? Yes. And then hit no right here. If no is selected, DTC memory will be erased and checked again. 
and doing it this way will allow the test plan to update right here and if you go through the OBD tab to clear fall codes you won't have the test plan update now when you see this it means that there are no more fault codes. It wants to set the readiness code, which is basically making all the OBD monitors show ready so you can get a state inspection. So whenever you see this after clearing fault codes, that means all the codes cleared. And I do not want to proceed with the readiness code, it's, it's time consuming there. The other message you'll see when you get that, if you do have fault codes left over, it will say new uh, new faults do you want to update test plan just hit yes and then it will show you the fault codes that were left and it will update the test plan accordingly so this is just going to close out of the tool now entering the password right here you can do it it's not a big deal it's just going to send the log to Germany I'll just hit cancel I'll hit no and it's going to ask me again I'm just going to tell it no and I'll hit next it's going to start closing out the tool